On the casino floor, which was directly across from the uh, Coconut Grove, one of the places was occupied by the Blue Book models of Hollywood. Now, anybody who thought they had photographic qualities and things like that could enroll in this school. And if there's anything good about you in connection with entertainment, this lady was able to bring it out. On every Sunday afternoon, an amateur photographer grabbed his movie camera and came back with more than just pretty pictures. One girl was particularly very cooperative. She just wanted to do anything I said. Like I was a big time director, here I was a nobody. And this was in 1942. And that girl was Norma Jean Doherty. A lot of people have claimed they, they discovered Marilyn Monroe. Well, in 1942, this is a frame enlargement of my movie. And that's her at 16. Five came out uh, in one month. And um, Howard Hughes had just had his airplane accident, remember? Uh, and uh, he sent for them, and I went to 20th, where Ben Lyon was head of casting. And didn't I tell you that? No. Well, he came out. He, there was a long waiting. Uh, I mean, the hard benches were sitting out. Uh, people of all ages and sizes and everything. He came out. He says, who is this girl? So and he said, I look so fresh and young and I don't know what all. He was very enthusiastic. I mean, he said, he said, oh, he says, you're, oh, you know, you had high hopes for me. Well, they made a Technicolor test uh, the following day, which was unusual, but they sort of sneaked it in. All of them got together in the, in the talent department, uh, and they put me under contract, under a stock contract, for a year, and then I was dropped. When I was hired back after the Asphalt Jungle, you know, the 20th Century Fox, um, Zanik said, I understand you used to be uh, here. I said, that's right. Well, uh, things are quite different now. <laughs> I said, um, and he said, I had a three-dimensional quality having to do with sex. 